G'day guys, it's Grouse here in the garage. Got a different kind of video for you today. I'm going to show you how I cleaned up the cylinder heads off my LS1 motor. This video is kind of uh, came about um, by accident. Didn't intend on making this video, but these heads came up so good with the simplest of materials. I thought I'll put together a video to show you how I did it. So let's rewind now to have a look at these heads as they came off the engine, and then I'll show you how I cleaned them up. Now, because I never intended on making a how-to video for this, I didn't really capture video or photos of the state of these cylinder heads when I was disassembling the engine. You can see here, though, when I take the uh, rocker covers off, that there's plenty of baked-on oil residue and plenty of carbon on the cylinder heads, too, when I take those off. The condition was way worse than what I thought, and... At this point in time, I was wondering, how on earth am I going to clean these up properly? So the first thing I did was sat the cylinder heads in a 1 to 10 mixture of the degreaser. I sat them in there like this, and then after a couple of days, I turned them over. One of these cylinder heads, though, didn't get turned over, and you will see what I mean about that in a moment. Okay, guys, I've had these soaking in degreaser now for two days. And if you have a look at the chambers there, you can see that the degreaser has um, has not gotten rid of all of the carbon buildup and uh, um, you know baked on oil uh, gunk, but it looks like it's softened it. So I never um, expected when uh, when I had them soaking that it would just strip it off, unless it was like a really strong chemical or something. So this is exactly what I expected. Now I've got these outside, got some uh, protective gear on there. Uh, I'm wearing the safety glasses as well because what I'm about to do is give them a good blast with the high pressure water cleaner and then I've got a special um, trick that I'm going to do once I've blasted them off because I don't expect the uh, high pressure um, water to clean them right off either so let's give them a hit with the um, with the good old gurney and uh, we'll see how they come up and here's the results after the first pass with the high pressure water cleaner. And this is actually really interesting. So this head on the left here, um, that one was soaking fully submerged in the water-based degreaser for about four days. And the top part of that head is absolutely spotless. And I'm actually shocked to see that. The interesting part is that this head here was soaking in uh, the same solution for two days and only half of the head was soaking in it. And um, can you see that? There is a distinct line right along there where on the left, or no, sorry, on the lower part, that was uh, not submerged in the cleaning solution. And this other side here was submerged. And it's dead set, an even line between dirty and spotless so that is really interesting and that is um a credit to that cleaner um that i used and it was actually um wasn't really expensive either 20 liters of that cost me 70 dollars from repco of all places so that's the first pass oh, i'll flip them over and i'll show you the underside let's see if we can do that here all right now that is the underside of the head combustion chambers there they um surprisingly so all that carbon um, was softened by the uh the degreaser and most of that did 
blast off with the high pressure water. But I'm going to try something else now as well to get these looking absolutely spotless brand new. And here's my special uh, secret that I use to clean certain types of metal and that is just plain old paint stripper. So what I've done is I've painted over these now just with a soft bris bristle brush uh, and paint stripper and I'm going to leave that only just for a short period of time and then I'm going to use this stiff bristle brush here and I'm going to agitate um, the surface especially where there's still some carbon remaining and uh, also some of that oil baked on oil deposit um, and then I'm going to hit it with the high pressure water again and I'm expecting pretty much all of that to come off uh, I've done it before on um, other engines that I've built and uh, even uh, things like subframes and um, you know undercarriage components that get, tend to get covered in grease and grime I've used paint strip on those to strip off all the grease and it actually works really well so let's, um, let's agitate that now with that stiff bristle brush and see and hit it with some, uh, some high pressure water and see what we get and here we are now after um, the next pass over with high pressure water and if I just pan around here, you'll see that um, in terms of carbon, there's like tiny, tiny fragments left that I can literally just pick off with my finger. But um, really, that's nothing uh, compared to the whole state of these heads. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give, I'm going to let them dry off a tiny bit and give them another little uh, dousing with some paint stripper and give that another high pressure clean, flip them over, do the same. And when they've dried off, I'll show you the final product from simply soaking in water-based degreaser, painting with paint stripper and high pressure water. After giving the heads a good blast with compressed air and letting them dry off, I brought them back into the garage, cleaned up the valves and lapped them back into the heads. Now that came up really good as well. Gave the heads another clean just with some degreaser and compressed air and they came up really absolutely mint. Fitted my performance valve springs and the heads were done and they came up way better than what I expected which is why I decided to do this video. Here's a photo of another part that I used, I soaked in the degreaser. You can see which half was uh, soaked and here's the actual engine block now with half soaked in the degreaser and half not and the difference the contrast there is unbelievable and guys that is now a wrap for this video um, you can see in the background here I've now got my LS1 engine block soaking in the same degreaser solution this is the stuff right here that I used. Um, simple, cheap degreaser from Repco. Uh, I've bought two 20 uh, litre drums of that now. The first was $70, the second one I got on sale for 60 bucks for 20 litres. The mix ratio is one part degreaser, 10 parts water. Simple as that. Don't do it full strength. You may damage the aluminium if you do that. One to 10 is the right ratio. Soak it for a couple of days, blast it with some high pressure water. Any uh, tough bits that you cannot remove by doing that, so your baked on oil deposits, carbon, you may need um, a bit of paint stripper like I did there and they just come up mint. So I've already seen the results on half of this engine block um, that I've had submerged there uh, and it is looking just as good and you will see that in a future episode on this channel. Thanks for watching. Hope you get your engine parts cleaned up just as good. Cheers.